Next one is five minutes of breathing and the breath that I use right now and you have lots of variations, lots of possible breath, breath work that you can do. The next breath is a fire breath. So again you can do that for five minutes. In the beginning you will see that you get a bit dizzy. If it's too much you slow down. But the fire breath goes like that. You keep on going for five minutes and you notice that if you do that like for a week, a few weeks, after a while you can enter into this rhythm where you can keep on going like for an hour without this being a problem. I'm going to give you some variations also of the fire breath because you don't have to rigidify yourself. I would say that in the beginning just do it exactly the way I did it, like for a week, but after that you can start adding variations and different ways of expanding that experience. So I will, I will show you, demonstrate some of the, the possible variations. So for instance, when you start with a fire breath, and you can start breathing through the nose instead of the mouth, nose, mouth alternating, you can add rhythm, you can add some sound, you, uh, some different uh, mantras as well that start emerging. So you get the idea. We can really have all these possible variations and in just what I showed you now in these different breathing techniques, you could have five minute sequences of each one of them. So have a whole hour of what we call pranayama. Prana means breath and yama means mastery or control. So these are uh, breath control or breath mastery techniques. And prana is simply life force. It is the same as, you know, a different variation of chi or Shekinah or life force or Shakti 
you know it's what you what you take in in the in the air that is that is the life force that is contained in the in the air so you know it could be on the physical level it's the oxygen is what you get really in so pranayama techniques